Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, I'm gonna stop pretending like I'm a YouTuber. Let's get back to while we're here. Okay, so many of you guys asked me how I'm doing after my heart ablation. This is my update video. So if you're not here for that, you can um, go to the next video or something. But um, yeah, this is for my my um uh, heart problem people you know <laughs> kidding okay but anyways so i want to give you guys a little bit of a backstory on why i had that procedure done so i had svt well i was first diagnosed with svt i had a lot of palpitation problems like my heart would jump to 250 and it would take about 20 minutes for it to settle down one night I was at home, it was really late. My sister was sleeping over because I had a newborn. She was helping me out. My heart started beating really fast. It was beating 250 beats per minute. And usually it settles on its own, but this time it didn't. And it was going on for maybe two hours. And it began making me really lightheaded. I started feeling like I was losing um, conscience, consciousness and my sister decided to call the ambulance. The ambulance, on my way to the hospital, they restarted my heart and um, when I got to the hospital, I went to cardiac arrest and they had to restart it again and then they uh, diagnosed me with Wolf Parkinson's White Syndrome. So it's similar to SVT, but it, it's a little more severe. And after that, they told me that I should probably get the ablation done. Now, prior to this incident, they didn't tell me I had the option of having the ablation done. So I definitely took that option. I have a video of the ablation uh, in my channel somewhere. You gotta look for it. <laughs> I documented the journey, um, my experience, so if you want to find that, you can. I've been feeling really great after the ablation. Like, I, I definitely recommend it. After the ablation, well, it's a three-hour long procedure. After that, they tell you to, that you got to stay laying down for two hours because of anesthesia. And then... I had a lot of pressure in my chest, like as soon as I woke up and that was on and off maybe for about two weeks or so, maybe three, I don't know. But the recovery time is three weeks, they say. So yeah, they you're not allowed to pick up anything heavy, anything more than 10 pounds. Uh, the doctor also told me not to drive for a week, so I didn't drive. And then the first thing I, I had to, like I had, I said when I woke up, I was like, I have to pee. Like my bladder was exploding. And because they don't let you get up for two hours, I had to use a bedpan. So just warning you guys, if you guys are about to get your procedure done, you know, don't drink too much water for your procedure. I don't even think you're allowed to drink water. So I guess the day before don't drink a lot of water. But actually, no, I think you can drink water. Okay, I don't know what to ask your doctor. <laughs> but um, anyway, I did have um, light palpitations after the surgery for about a few weeks. The doctor told me that was normal. Um, all in all, it was a very successful procedure. Um, I'm really happy I decided to go through with it. I feel a lot better. My lifestyle has changed so much. I don't know, like I, I couldn't even do much before because as soon as I would just bend over to get laundry out of the dryer or pick up something, my heart just do, 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 like, it was so stressful that, and it was hard because I had two like kids under two. <sighs> yeah. And then um, I highly recommend getting it, but like obviously with any surgery, um, there's risks, so if you're willing to take the risks, um, I recommend getting it done. They give you like, oh, doctor gave me an 80% chance of it actually working. 
he said 20% chance I might not actually work and like worst case scenario, I just have to live with the palpitations for the rest of my life. So, I mean, I still had a 80% chance, so I definitely took it and I'm glad I did. Anyways, I'm very thankful for the outcome. And if you guys uh, want to try the surgery, go for it. And if this is why you're here watching this video, just to see my experience, to see, to make the decision, you know, like, should I do it or not? It's obviously up to you, but my experience went very well. So good luck. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, subscribe just because, you know, I'm trying to get some subscribers over here. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.